I'm here with Steve, the lead star of Suicide Theory. How are you enjoying the festival so far, Steve? Having a great time, seeing some great films. Uh, you know, they've been treating us really well here. So, um, yeah, we get, yeah, it'd be interesting to see my film because I haven't seen it yet. Possibly oh, the first time you're screening it with an audience and everything? Well, it's the first time it's been screened with an audience, but uh, it's the first time I'll be seeing it as well. So that's kind of confronting. So, so high expectations, I'm sure, for, your, uh, for yourself. From me? Yeah. No expectations at all. <laughs> no, look, I'm really looking forward to it. It's always a bit sort of, you know, confronting. But I've heard a lot of fantastic things, so I'm going to, you know, try and be uh, objective about it. Um, hopefully it's all there, you know, but apparently it is. <laughs> exactly. So they tell me. Yeah, right, right, right. So tell me how you got attached to the project. Well, uh, it's one of the, one of the more random uh, scenarios that have taken place um, for, for me. I got an email from the, from the director, Drew Brown, one day saying, look, uh, we've got this film, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I like your work, and uh, I was wondering if you were interested in having a read of the script and maybe coming up to see the, do the film. So I said, I mean, you never underestimate the, uh, you know, the attraction of a feature film to an actor, you know. So you think, oh, okay. He said, it's called The Suicide Theory. I was like, it's a pretty intense title. Send it to me. And he did, and, and I read it. And, uh, you know, I was maybe about, I think I was probably about half, not even about 10, 15 pages in, I went, this is actually quite unique. It's unlike anything I'd read before. So then we started going back and forth a bit, and, you know, within it was less than two weeks, and I was shooting. <laughs> oh, really, two weeks? That was yeah, it. There was uh, not a lot of time for preparation, um, but it was all good. It was it was it was a really good experience. You know, the subject matter was it was it unique to you? You were saying it's uh, something a little different from what you read before. Well, I started reading about a, a, a hitman. And I'm thinking, oh, okay. You know, we've seen so many films about hitman, and you know, and so what? And then, but then this relationship that forms between this hitman and this suicidal guy, and. Uh, and his past and, and how all that's going to, you know, sort of uh, affect the action. It was just, it was unique and it was more so about the relationship between, that forms between these two guys rather than, um, you know, sort of uh, just the, I, I guess, violence or craziness for craziness sake. Do you know what I mean? It's more so about this really close friendship between these two guys. Incidentally, one's trying to kill the other one because he paid him to do it. But other than that, they're you know they become really close friends, really you know kind of two lost souls, I guess, who become good friends. And I thought that was a very very interesting part, uh, a very interesting script to explore. So, and here we are tonight. <laughs> you know, was it hard getting into the character? Because like you said it's a, it's a hitman. He's going to kill somebody. Now they become friends. You know, was it hard? It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I mean, there was some really heavy stuff to do, um, but it was actually enjoyable. And some of it was just really sort of emotionally heavy stuff, actually. It wasn't just, uh, um, you know, shooting people for, for a laugh. It was some of the really emotionally heavy stuff. But I, I had a great time, and I said to these guys, look, if you, if you guys are willing to back yourselves, and they were, I said, well, I'll, I'll, come, and, I'll come and back myself up with you. Fantastic. You know, what, what kind of effect did it have on you after the film? You know, films like this always have an emotional toll. You know, did, did, did some lingering effects stay with you there? Some contemplation? Not, no, not really. I mean, I, you know, I, I didn't have any sorts of uh, suicide, that's for sure. <laughs> or killing anyone. Um, because well, friendship, I'm, I'm attachment. Good, I'm a good, yeah, no, I'm a good person. Yeah. Um, no, I enjoy, uh, it's an interesting question. I mean, it was a year and a half ago, but... I can't say it, it, it stayed with me. Uh, I get emotional. I've only seen like little clips of it, like the trailers and stuff, and it sort of brings a lot of emotion back when I watch it. But I can't say at the time that I walked away with any kind of profound feelings or anything like that. Hopefully, the audience does. You know, that, that leads to a great question. You know, what would you like the audience to walk away with from your performance or the movie? Well, essentially. It is a movie, and you want it to be entertaining. You want it to be a, a, like an entertaining story with, you know, with surprises, um, and, and to sort of leave you, I think, with these questions of fate and destiny, and what's meant to be, and uh, whether the people that come into our lives are meant to, for a reason, or it's just random accidents. I think that's what, that's what I think about when I think about the film. 
And, and how about you personally? Uh, social media, where people get more uh, information on uh, yourself and uh, this film and other films? Yeah. Well, uh, recently there's a film called I Frankenstein, which is out on DVD now, which was in the cinemas not long ago. You can check me out on that. Other American films, anyways. Uh, where the wild things are. Uh, this is a, a film I did a few years ago, and um, so I'm out there doing my uh, my thing. Um, it's all on Facebook, Twitter, so, I, dot com. I'm not, I'm not a big social media guy. I mean, I'm not. Uh, you know, I would love. I would like to be more of a social media guy, but it seems like a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I'm contacted. We can see all my stuff on um, IMDb and all that. Dave, I know it's going to be another great film. Those are all great films that you just mentioned. Right. You know, you're welcome. Take care. Thanks, man. Cheers.